Okay, so this video is going to be about how to use the Unplugged app. So you'll see I find it on my desktop here. So I'm going to click here. If for some reason you can't find it, for instance, when I go to my normal programs, I actually don't see it on mine. Um, I just go to this little magnifying glass and I can type in Unplug. And there it is. So I can click on that. I'm presented with a dialog box. So it's saying, which room do you want to either share to or mirror on your desktop? So I've got two options here. There's two Mimeos within range and turned on. I am going to select this one. And if I share my screen, that's going to send my desktop to the Mimeo. Okay. This is usually what you want. However, there are occasions where you might need to get the Mimeo to show up on your desktop. That is screen mirroring. So I'm going to go ahead and demo share screen real quick. Okay, so as you can see, it did begin sharing my desktop to the screen. The nice thing about having your screen on a Mimeo is that you can use the annotation tools. And you can also use your pen or your finger as a mouse. So if I click on Chrome, it takes me to my home page. I can use either my password or my um, past used screens. The difference with using your screen uh, via your laptop, you're going to find it's usually a lot faster than trying to use the internal Chrome browser on your board. And also you can use your regular keyboard to type. And so now here I am on Chrome on Schoology and I can use my annotation to draw the attention of students to where I need them to click and whatnot. Please note that when you are annotating like this, you cannot click off of this page until you clear the annotations. So you have some options over here. I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth on that right now. Um, you can change the color of your pen if you need. You go red, black, blue, green. You can highlight so that it's not as dark and you can still see through it. Um, the broom will erase the whole screen of annotations but leave you in annotation mode, whereas the disc obviously will help you save it to the panel. Keep in mind, it's saving to the panel, not your computer. Um, and then the X will clear it all and leave annotation mode, which is then what I'm going to do now. Okay, so I can then have the option to click on the links and it will take me as though I'm using a mouse. I can also still use my mouse, but I can use the board instead, which is nice when you're going through slides or something with students and you want to click through instead of having to walk over to your desk each time. Um, so that is in general, some of the capabilities that you can use. I do want to note that if I go over to my side and I go to these little tools, I still have those options to use the spotlight, to use the countdown, and to use the stopwatch. So I'm going to use the spotlight to demo that real quick. Again, remember, make it bigger, make it smaller, and I can always change the contrast so that it's not as drastic, or I can make it darker. Okay. And my stopwatch and everything will just pop up on top of whatever I have up. Okay, so you can leave your screen up and still use some of the Mimeo tools that way.